China considers Taiwan an inalienable territory, and if necessary, will have to take it back by force. A magazine of the State Shipbuilding Corporation of China recently published an article describing a scenario of a three-stage lightning attack opening the way to land on Taiwan. Accordingly, the first stage of the attack includes ballistic missile launches, destroying strategic targets in Taiwan, including the airport, early warning radar stations, anti-aircraft missile bases, and command centers. Weapons used in this attack include DF-16 short-range ballistic missiles, which are difficult for Taiwan to intercept. China will fiercely fire missiles to support the Marines landing on the island, according to the article. Meanwhile, H-6 bomber and J-16 fighter jets will take on the task of attacking Taiwanese naval bases with the goal of neutralizing rather than completely destroying for the Chinese army to seize control after landing. The second wave, consisting of multiple launches of YJ-91 and CJ-10 cruise missiles fired from land, ships, and submarines, targeted military bases, ammunition depots, communications facilities, and arterial roads in Taiwan. The Chinese military will use drones to assess damage in the field. Finally, Chinese surface ships and land-based missile forces will unleash fire to crush the remaining pockets of resistance on the island and support the marines and amphibious forces to advance on the island. It's a hypothetical scenario, but it's entirely possible. Observers say that Chinese President Xi Jinping always considers the goal of unification of Taiwan to be his greatest achievement, just like his predecessors achieved when reforking Hong Kong and Macau. However, military experts say that while Xi is increasingly talking about using military solutions to take back Taiwan, the island's defensive capabilities and U.S. support could cause China's amphibious operation across the strait to fail miserably. With the backing of the United States, Taiwan has recently been working to balance its military power in East Asia. This balance of power should stabilize over the next few years, as China does not yet have the capability to project the power needed to overwhelm Taiwan's A280 capabilities. Accordingly, instead of seeking to dominate the air and sea according to traditional tactics, Taiwan's self-defense forces can apply measures to blockade the air and sea. To attack Taiwan, the Chinese military would have to cross the strait and land on islands before reaching the main island. This will be a huge challenge for the Chinese military because amphibious operations from sea are always the most difficult form of combat. China's Triforce could be vulnerable to Taiwan's precision-guided weapons 
while maneuvering across the strait. Therefore, for the campaign to be successful, Beijing would have to have complete air superiority and control over the waters in the region. For a China surface-to-surface missiles, with early warning of an attack, Taiwan could evacuate fighter jets to 36 military airports on that island. Not to mention a series of civilian airports and highways that can also be used in an emergency. Taiwan also has mobile missile launchers and anti-aircraft weapons, as well as warships and submarines to counter China's missile preemptive strike. It is almost impossible for China to eliminate the enemy's entire defense system in a preemptive strike because Taiwan currently possesses advanced early warning systems. Even the United States could not do that when it launched attacks on much weaker opponents like Iraq in 1991 or Serbia in 1999. On the other hand, the People's Liberation Army, which has not participated in a major war in the past three decades, cannot guarantee a successful amphibious assault on Taiwan. Only 10% of Taiwan's coast is suitable for amphibious operations. So if it concentrated its defense forces in a few key areas, Taiwan could completely overwhelm the Chinese amphibious force. The U.S. Army's support for long-range reconnaissance and warning capability, providing information on China's force movements, as well as target data, so that the Taiwan Self-Defense Force can take timely response measures. In case of need, the United States can use advanced stealth aircraft such as B-2 bombers, F-35s, or Ohio-class submarines to attack Chinese amphibious forces, helping its allies repair a large-scale attack. My video about the Chinese military answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.